Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to Behind the Times, the gaming channel that always updates you late. Today we have a very special video for you, we're going to be doing a great unboxing video. I'm really looking forward to this, I've been looking forward to this for quite some time, and almost a week after that. First I'd like to give a shout out to UPS. See? Shipping label. Thank you so much UPS for delivering this package late. So the other 765 Star Wars gamers can get this on their YouTube channel first. It just makes me so angry. What? What? A little something to calm me down? Okay. Just trying here. Much better. And now a word from our sponsor. Stop lecturing me! Ah! All right, let's get this opened up. This package is sent to me from Game Nerds in Texas. Once again, I know they are not sponsoring the channel. They are just taking my money. Let's take a look. All right, there's our ship, Star Wars Armada, with no packing. Today's unboxing is for the Onager and the Nadiri, Nadiri, Nadiri Starhawk. So let's get set up here, and we're going to open up the Onager first. Let's take a look and see what we got in here. Really looking forward to these. Love Star Wars Armada. It really is a great game, and the models are just fantastic, even for display. Ah, there goes that plastic wrap. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's pull her out. And then we get all our cardboard right here on the other side. All right, here we have the rule book. And we got our content list. We got. All right, we got the salvo, which basically uh, lets you uh, attack after somebody attacks you. We got some raid tokens. We got the yacht speed zero. So this here, this is kind of like the bank maneuver that the uh, X-wing huge ships make. They, uh, to resolve a zero speed maneuver with one or more clicks. And then you declare the direction and the number of clicks for the yacht or the maneuver, insert the guides, and then just turn your ship. You have a special battery armaments. which is a special firing arc. Some ships have a special battery armament indicated by dice icons in addition to shaded armament box not associated with the shield value. And uh, one or more firing arcs indicated by dash lines and shaded areas on the ship's token. So anyways, we're gonna have to take a look at this and see how that goes. I'm here showing you an example of ignition attacks. You have ignition tokens, it's keyword. The end of a ship's activation, if it has an ignition range keyword, that ship may place the targeting token matching its ID token within a special firing arc and within that range specified by the ignition keyword. Okay, we got some other rules here. We have to go through all of this. This is going to be really cool. I'm going to love to see this on the table. Okay, so let's, uh, before we open her up, let's get into the cards real quick. Take a look at our cardboard here. Special firing arc here right down the center. Got like four reds and three black die. That's that's a good one. Got a red, two blues, and a black. You got two reds and a blue on the side. Just a red and blue in the rear. Okay. Got our dials. Just 
speed dial and our new tokens with the salvo and such. Okay, very nice. Very cool. We gotta pop this base out here so we can put our ship up on its stand. Get that ready. All right, let's check out these ship cards. We have the Onager class test bed. We have 10 hull, one black die against squadrons. We have three command points, one squadron, three engineering points. We got a brace, redirect, and then there's your salvo. We got uh, three speed. There's only one where you can't move the yaw. And then we have our super weapon here right up the middle. We got four red and three black. Then around, we got a red, a black, and two blue on the front, two red and a blue on the sides, and a red and a blue in the back. We got an officer, two weapons teams, one support team, and then the super weapon for upgrades, and this is a 96 cost on this one. All right, and we got our full Onager class Star Destroyer. We got 10 hull, a blue and a black against squadrons. Three command, two squadron this time, three engineering. Got the same defensive tokens, same speed. As you can see, well, the cost is a little bit higher. We got 110. The uh, upgrades are the same, but now here's your firepower is a bit different. We can take a look at them side by side. In the front, you got two reds, two blues, and a black. Over here, you pick up a couple of blues and you drop a red and a black. On the sides, you pick up a red, uh, a red and a black and drop the blue. In the back, you pick up another red. All right, these are going to be fun to hit on the table. You're going to enjoy playing those. All right, let's take a look what we got here. General Ramudi, love the artwork. Great artwork. Nice, evil-looking Imperial commander. I just, you know, I know, I understand because it, for me, I love the little cards because it gives you more table room. Uh, the bigger X-wing cards are a bit of an issue, but I do like the X, bigger X-wing cards because you can see the art uh, a little better. But art has nothing to do with gameplay. Uh, let's see, uh, cost is 20 on this one. While a friendly ship is attacking a ship, if the attack is obstructed by a ship or an obstacle, the attacker does not remove a die, even if this attack is also obstructed by a card effect, and may add one red die to the attack pool. Very good, General. Thank you for that one. All right, Commander Beck, cost is three. During your activation, you may resolve a command as if you had spent a command token. Well, if you do, you gain one raid token of the matching type. You may resolve this effect twice per activation. Okay. Commander Beck coming through. Riva Demesny. The cost is four. After you are declared as the target of an attack, if the defending hull zone has at least one shield remaining, you may exhaust this card to ready one defense token. Okay, that's cool. I like that too. Gunnery Chief. Vanil uh, let me see, Varnillion. After you deploy, place one red die to uh, set to a blank face on this card. If you are the second player, set it to any face instead. Okay. While attacking a ship, you may spend one die from the attack pool to exchange it with a die on this card. Both die remain set to their current faces. And this is a cost of six on this one. All right, local fire control. After you deploy, you must replace one of your defense tokens with, uh, with a salvo defense token. Okay, it costs us four on that one. Got a couple of those. I'm going I'm to want to use that salvo. It's going to be cool. All right, flag bridge. Medium or large ship only. Flagship only. Modification. You gain one fleet command icon in your upgrade bar. You cannot spend a command token to resolve a fleet command's card effect. All right. Heavy fire zone. While attacking a squadron before you gather dice, if the defender is not engaged with the friendly squadron, you may replace all of the blue die in your anti-squadron armament with red die. Well, that is an interesting card. That's very cool. I like that. All right, a couple of those. All fighters follow me at the start of the ship phase. Oh, I did. I forgot there. That's the cost of four on that one. There's a cost of five here. All fighters follow me. Cost is five. At the start of the ship phase, you may discard this card or spend a squadron token. If you do, until the end of the round, the speed of each squadron that a friendly ship activates is increased by one to a maximum of five until the end of the squadron's activation. 
All right, well, that definitely a little sneak a uh, sneak and speed up there. Very cool. All right, here's your super weapon orbitable bombardment, particle cannons, modification, ignition long, ignition, uh, keyword ignition, uh, red crit. Each other ship at distance one of the defender suffers two damage, and each squadron at the distance one of the defender suffers one damage. Cost is five on that one. Very nice. All right. And we have a <clears throat> super heavy composite beam turbo lasers, modification, uh, ignition medium, ignition keyword, red crit. The defender suffers one damage. This occurs once for each red or blue crit icon in the pool. Whoa. All right. All right, we got Cataclysm. This is our title card. After the start of the ship phase, you may spend one Concentrate Fire token to place your targeting token within your special firing arc within the range specified by one of the by one of your ignition keywords. Cost is five on this one. All right, rig hell cost is four. Navigate while executing a zero speed maneuver. Now here's that little yaw trick. You can resolve clicks of the yaw at speed zero joint and are and are treated as having a yaw value of one for that maneuver. All right, Sunder, cost is 10, blue or black crit. You may discard this card to choose and discard one offensive retrofit, defensive retrofit, ordnance, ion cannon, or turbo lasers. Upgrade card, equip to the defender. Wow, very cool. I like that. This is going to be a fun ship to play. Cards. Let's see. Uh, Let's take a look at it. Let's open up the base here. The moment we've all been waiting for the model. Which is one of my very favorite parts. Let's open it up here. This has the tape. We're just going to get that off. She's looking beautiful. Look at that. Pops right out. Very good. Very nice fantasy flight. All right. Let's take a look at that. Let's get a real close. Let's do the Star Wars motion picture thing here. Get this right to the front. And we're going to do a little tour. Love the detail. There's your super lasers. These guys always do a great job on these ships, whether it's X-Wing or Armada. Very, very nice. Very nice detail. Take a look at that. Very cool. Uh, you got a beautiful engine glow. All right. Look at the other side here. Really nice. This is a good, I was really looking forward to this ship. Let's get up close over here for you guys. My 2% audience. And the bottom here. Love the split in the ship. Very, very cool. All right. All right, let's get her set up here. I like these, they're very sturdy. You know, they weren't yeah, so sturdy on the X-Wing ship. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That is just so cool looking on that sturdy field. Very nice. All right. Let's get this part out of the way. We'll leave you out. Next, let's do the Starhawk. There you go. That's the gun I was looking for. My wife liked this ship because it looked like a gun. My wife doesn't play games, but I love her. And she allows me to play and collect all this stuff. Since I'm a solo gamer, you might ask yourself, how the heck is he solo or not? It's not easy. 
but I do the best I can. And I have fun doing it, so that's the important thing. All right, let's get her out. Get a cardboard. Get back on that box. Getting a little stubborn here. Okay, we just gotta rip the whole thing. Get the cardboard out. There we go. Starhawk, beautiful. Here's the component list. We've got our new rules, a salvo, of course. Nice artwork. Okay, we got the contain. Super weapon. All right, our credits and play testers. And now let's take a look at that. Yeah, the base. There's our salvo and our dials. <clears throat> All right. Let's mix those up. Here's the Starhawk ship cards. Okay, Mark 1. We got a 14 hull. Blue and a black against squadrons. We got four command points, three squadron points, four engineering points. We got the, uh, the brace, redirect, salvo, and contain. Two speed. And now here we got our our guns. We have four red, two blue, two black in the front, two red, two blue, and a black on the sides, and two red and a black in the rear. Here we've got the uh, two officers. We have the weapons teams, defend offensive retrofit. We have ion cannons, we have turbo lasers, and we have our super weapon. And it's identical for the other ship as well. Yeah, the Mark, I guess this is the Mark II. Yeah, okay, so. 140, 150 costs respectively. We switch the die up top to a red from a black. Everything else is the same except the firepower. Let's compare that over here. So we're dropping a blue and picking up a black. And here we're dropping a red and picking up a black on the sides. And then we're dropping a blue and picking up a black in the rear. Okay. All right, let's take, check out the upgrades. We have a... Uh, First uh, gate, commander card. After you deploy, gain a, a non-scatter defense token during your spend defense token step. If your speed is not zero, you may discard one defense token to resolve the effect of that defense token. You cannot resolve the effect of each type of defense token more than once per attack. It costs us 20. Okay, here's her officer card. Okay, red or blue crit. You may exhaust this card to ready one of your exhausted defense tokens. Okay, that's cool. You can resolve this critical effect during a salvo attack. Hmm, very nice. All right, where's your Antilles? Before the end of the squadron phase, you may spend one squadron token to choose up to three friendly, non-unique squadrons without strategic at distance one to five. Those squadrons gain cloak till the end of the round. Oh, thank you, Edge. Very neat. It's neat. Okay, Shriv, Shurgav, Shurgave, Shurgav, Shurgave. Cost is six. Oh, I forgot even to mention that. Cost is four on wedge. Cost is six. And it takes, uh, you can see it takes um, a weapons team and an offensive retrofit for this one. When you reveal a command, you may discard a squadron dial or token and this card to choose one enemy ship at close range. Choose and discard. Okay, now here's the answer to the other card from uh, from the onager. Let's see if we can track that down again. Where was that? Oh, this was it here. Yeah. Okay. So this is the this is the answer to the onager. Choose and discard uh, one weapons team, one support team. One offensive retrofit, defensive retrofit, ordnance, ion cannon, or turbo lasers. Upgrade card equipped to that ship. Okay, so there's your answer. This is being a title card, and this 
And you need two slots on, on there to get that one. Okay. Flight controllers, we've seen that before. Local fire control. After you deploy, you must replace one of your defense tokens with a salvo defense token. That was in the other set as well. Okay, flag bridge. Copy of that. Heavy fire zone. Again, two copies of that. All right, intensify firepower. Here we go. This gets a fleet command. At the start of the ship phase, you may discard this guard or spend a concentrate fire token. If you do, until the end of the round, while each friendly ship is attacking a ship, it may change one die to a face with one hit icon and no other icons. All right, uh, Magnite Crystal Tractor Beam Array costs is 10. After the end of your activation, you may exhaust this card to choose one enemy ship at distance 1 to 5. That ship's speed is increased or decreased to match your speed. While your speed is 0, you cannot ready this card. All right. Amity, mark one only. After you deploy, gain one evade defense token. When an enemy ship overlaps you, you may deal one additional face down damage card to both ships. Well, I guess that, you know, I mean, we do have a 14 hull here. So I suppose we can go ahead and take a hit, an extra hit, if we're going to do some, you know, N type damage to the enemy. The ship's going to go down. Concord, mark one only. After you deploy, gain one. Salvo defense token. While defending, if your speed is zero during your spend defense token step, you can spend one defense token. Okay, that costs us 12 on this one, so really high up. All right, Unity. Cost is 10. After you deploy, gain one redirect defense token. While attacking a squadron, if the defender is engaged with a friendly squadron without the printed heavy keyword, you may reroll one die. All right, cool cards, very cool. It'll be fun to see this on the board on the table and get these cards into play. Let's pop out of the base. And get this ready. Now let's open her up here. This is a sweet looking, they're both sweet looking ships. I guess, you know, I cannot be happier with Fantasy Flight's models. It takes them a while sometimes. These were delayed for a month, over a month. But uh, the product in the end after the wait is just gorgeous look at that that is really let's get a little close up here for everyone to see do the old star trek slow-mo like in the original motion picture that is very very cool very cool our engine glows both in the front and the back I mean, yeah, up here too. Very cool. This is definitely a sweet looking ship. It's going to be great to see this in action on the table. There's your super weapon. Very nice. Very beautiful. I like the yellow one. It looks nice. Got some nice detail. Let's get it in the base. I'll put her down. That is sweet. Look at that. Very cool. Great job, Fantasy Flight Games. No, they're not sponsoring this video. Great job. A little wobbly here because it's a it's a heavier ship, but it seems to be this is it's so sturdy. So let me just around. Yeah, looks good. Love the look of that. On 
the fact that it looks like a gun. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, just kidding. I don't know, looks like Han Solo's blaster, but not really. Yeah, see, it's a little top heavy up here, so you don't want to watch that because you can see how it pops off here pretty easy. See that? So you want to watch that when you're setting up and playing. All right, that's all I got for you today. I want to thank Fantasy Flight Games, who are not sponsoring this video, for this beautiful ships, this great play mat. I want to thank my 2% viewers. Please send me money to keep the channel going. And I want to thank everybody else who's not watching. You guys have a great day.